Hey, comic fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and Fans. You're with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do another comic book review. That's right, everybody. And today we're going to be talking about the return of Robin Hood Legend. That's right, guys. The title of this is called The Beginning of the End. This is Volume 3 of Robin Hood, written by none other. Patrick Shan. That's right, everybody. It's hard to believe that this series was introduced to us about two years ago, and we are already on Volume 3. Uh, love the cover here. This is uh, Robin Hood drawn at her finest. This is a great cover here. Very detailed. Uh, love it. And uh, our writer, again, is Patrick Shan. Uh, he's started the Robin Hood series and I think it's probably one of his most popular characters to date and one of the most popular books for Zenoscope. Uh, so excellent, excellent job here. Uh, the pencils is done by Larry Watts. Uh, pretty good interior art as well. Uh, definitely love the way uh, Robin is drawn in certain panels here. Um, we can see. Uh, I would love to see a little bit more detail in certain ways. Uh, of Robin and some of the other characters. However, this art is still really well and really well done and very desirable. Um, but I love looking at these books and, and they're enjoyed. The panel layout is perfect. The colors are, are well done here. So great book to look at. Uh, so what's up with the story? What did I think about it? Uh, this is a great reintroduction to some of these characters that are in uh, Robin's uh, universe here. Uh, of course, Robin is, her name is Robin Loxley. Uh, that's this girl right here. And uh, the uh, the person that is with her, her boyfriend, is Will Scarlet, uh, the girl, the guy that, um, you know, she cares about the most. And in the last series, we got to see that um, Will was stabbed and killed. At least that's what Robin thinks. And uh, he was killed by the Sheriff of Nottingham. And if you want to learn more about these characters, I suggest that you guys check out the first two trades of Robin Hood and you get caught up in the story really, really well. Um, in the beginning of this issue, you get to see what Robin Hood uh, kind of is and what she represents. And it kind of falls back to what, you know, we all know Robin is, Robin Hood is, you know. Uh, steal from the rich, give to the poor type of thing. And, uh, you know, she sees some crimes that go on in the beginning of the issue. And uh, it was cool because she has this fare for this taxi and she beats up a couple of thugs and gives a whole bunch of money to the to the actual uh, taxi driver, which is cool to see uh, in the issue. And, uh, and then she keeps some money for herself. Uh, you know, so she's trying to forget the past and she's trying to relive, you know, trying to move on to the future. And let's just say that she comes across some unlikely allies in this issue. Um, one of those uh, um, uh, allies in the particular issue was um, Guy of Giz Gisborne. I think that's how you say the actual name. Uh, he was kind of the sheriff of Nottingham's uh, closest advisor. Uh, and he comes through. And Marianne comes through. And in the issue, you get to see... And this is a little bit of a spoil, but I want you guys to be aware of um, her boy right here, uh, Will Scarlet. So, um, yeah, really cool stuff. Um, you know, why are these guys all here? Well, they're here to get Robin to go back to Nottingham and to help, uh, help it out. But she needs lots of convincing uh, from all the people and some of the, you know, people that are not supposed to be there to get her to go. Uh, so you get to see some great backstory of um, the sheriff of Nottingham and why Robin has to go there and why she's being uh, portrayed as the evil one now. And so there's lots of stories here to figure out. And you get to see what's going on with Will Scarlet as well, uh, you know, of, of why he is uh, in the shape that he's in right now. So... Lots of stuff here to read. Uh, I think you'll get a great enjoyment out of it. Um, Robin Hood is always a fantastic series. And uh, here's a little preview of the next issue here. So um, after reading this one, uh, I suggest that you guys pick this up. Now for new readers, I think I would suggest picking up those first two trades. Uh, even though it does give you uh, a brief 
um, story of what happened in the last issue, what has happened since Robin has been gone. Um, I think you would get a better feel of the characters uh, if you've read those first volumes, uh, especially volume number one, because you get to see who the Sheriff of Nottingham is and how he became that way. Uh, and if you want to see the origin of Robin Hood, it's really great to read that too. You really get a good grasp on this character if you read those first two trades. However, this book was really good to read. Uh, I suggest that you guys, if you want to jump on now, you can. Uh, you might be a little bit lost, but I think you'll get a feel for it as the title goes along. So uh, overall, read. I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. And guys, let me know what you think of Robin Hood. If you need any advice or any, if you have any questions, feel free uh, to let me know and I'll help you out the best that I can. And uh, again, guys, check out Robin Hood Legend Issue Number 1 by Zenoscope Entertainment. So guys, as always, thank you for watching. Comic Frontline, and until the next comic book review, everybody, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. See you real soon. Bye.